when I was uh, in a red tent ceremony a while ago, celebrating the divine feminine, her essence. In her essence, she is um, an oracle, um, a source of deep knowledge and wisdom, um, while being immersed in that. I had this download that said that we adults should listen to our children as they are going to lead us into this new era, into this new age that is approaching. Over the last few years, Gaia has made a shift and we've all felt it. You know, the COVID pandemic was one of the um, parts and one of the ways of creating the shift. We were forced to dive deep within ourselves and look honestly at how we are living our lives and what we are doing with our lives. Um, I want to say, and I want to state out very clearly, I mean, we should get past this idea that we are the ones that should guide our children and teach them. I mean, we are used to a society that is, uh, yeah, functioning in a certain way. Like, you know, we have the systems for everything. A system for religion, a system for school, a system for uh, being su successful, everything. But well, I haven't met any child that's uh, materialistic focused. They're not after status. They're not after, um, you know, those things that we learn at school. Many of them won't even fit into this school system. Uh, and they don't have to. And we should stop trying to force them to fit into that system. Uh, because, you know, if, if Gaia has made a shift... And if the soul essence, because that's what I'm talking about, the soul essence is what is important. The mysteries of the universe. Um, oh, I know so many children, including my own. I mean, my oldest was born in 1998. And my oldest was born in 2012. When I observe them, and when I, you know have my responsibility as a mother for them. There's so many times that I'm just taking my time and sit and listen and learn from them. And I'm like, yeah, it's so true. We should listen to our children because they come here with a greater understanding, uh, being so much more conscious of what is really happening and what really matters also. And they have everything uh, with them and also knowledge of what is needed for this new era, this new age, you know? And while speaking about it, I mean, we are cr part of a society, including that 1% that is trying to control the whole world. That's what we have created. But that society is not the society our children will grow up in and live in. And, you know, in their turn, when it's their time, also birth new children and new generations into this world. We have nothing to fear. This is the most powerful uh, time in human history. I mean, I've seen knowledge, universal knowledge, uh, that is waiting to be manifested in our natural world, coming from star people, coming from, you know, other planets and other uh, living sources. And our children are open and ready to co-work with them. And maybe I'm saying things that you're like, oh yeah, you're making it up, but no, I'm speaking it into existence and there will be a time and there will come a time that my message will be understood and also get confirmation.